All right, boys, so let's get down to business here. Now, since my last video about me crying about ESO not being fun anymore, I've had a lot of time to reflect, and I thought to myself, how am I going to make ESO fun? How am I going to make it fun for the community? How am I going to drive interest back to PvP and the Elder Scrolls Online? Well, the only rational choice is to just break it. Okay, and that's exactly where we're going to do in this video. I'm actually going to make a whole series on this. I have amalgamation of exploits that are currently residing in ESO that no one is using, and I don't want anyone to know about because I don't want to play against it. It's completely broken, and yeah, I, I don't want to be hit with any of this. So in today's video, we are going to cover one of those exploits which we can proc the most powerful proc set in the Elder Scrolls Online, and we can ignore the proc conditions, and you can do it super, super consistently. And if you can fit this set on literally any class, it's going to be absolute meta. So, let's talk about it, guys. Hey, welcome back guys. While I still have your attention for the first 30 seconds of the video, please hit like and sub on the channel. It really helps. It helps boost my ego and helps push my contents, you know, out of the YouTube algorithm a little bit. It'd be much obliged. So what am I talking about, guys? So we are talking about the scavenging mall. We're just gonna get jump right into brass tacks. I'm gonna unedit this. If there's moments of potty, you know, whatever. So this is my stamp sort build. If you have not seen the stamp sort build that I posted, which is fucking nutty. Okay, I think I made it to 12 seconds. I can cuss now. Yeah, it's fucking nutty um somewhere there's a link to that just just go click on it you'll get a basis for this build and essentially we're just replacing our monster set and our mythic with another five piece for this build i have never seen anything hit harder so we're just gonna kind of take a look just you know i'm not gonna blue ball you guys any longer so without our buffs and all the stuff we have so we're actually it's only at 17k right now with our berserker enchantment right it's going to go up to uh, scavenging malls and we get up to like 19k and then with minor sorcery yes we're going to have minor sorcery on this build it's going to get up to over 21k and then this is not even including what you would get from continuous attack which would probably boost up to like 23k 23.5 something like that so if you guys are unfamiliar with what scavenging demise is you get this from malazar a very painfully hard uh, just annoying the dungeon to run on vet uh, but you don't need the weapons on this which is uh, the good thing so the five piece this is what's going to make it really powerful when you deal critical poison damage to an enemy you will summon scavenging maul so um here's kind of what the uh, the scavenging maul is going to look like when it pops up and of course as i'm recording this the 90 percent chance which i'm going to explain how the math works actually no i'm not it's going to explain how the math works because if i explain how the math works in this video zoss has a um has a tendency to just want to fix every single thing that I ever talk about in the Elder Scrolls Online, whether it would be Valken Scoria, whether it would be Cinderstorm, um, whether it would be Ironblood, Oakensoul, it, 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 it tends to find its way to the years and, and, and they reverse engineer it and they fix it and they, they just take the fun out of the game. I am not going to go in depth on this. Notice we did not have a poison ability. And before you jump down in the comments, you're like, well, well, Horcrux, you're running poison. Surely that counts. No. No, it does not. The poison enchantments, the damage from that when it creates, it does not count. And also, if you run poisons on your weapons, okay, that deal poison damage, not only does it not proc it, but it lessens the odds severely of the set proccing. So, how are we doing this? Okay, let me explain these potions. I'm not going to go in depth on why this works. I, I have a whole 30 minute spreadsheet that I prepared for this, but I'm not going to include it in this video again, because I do not want Zoss to reverse engineer and fix this bug because this is fun. I don't want to take fun out of the Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, this, the, I don't want to. So I'm not going to explain it. Just take my word for it. Okay, you craft these by violet cornucopus something like that lady smock and uh fucking oh man i want to pull up my my phone hold on I did. god i thought i could do all this in one take without having to, to do a lot of post edits but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case so it's going to be violet cornucopus lady smock and water hyacinth okay now there is an alternative to these which will uh, replace your um, uncertainty, which gives you minor prophecy, but you don't need because you already have minor prophecy with a poison uh, over like 2.3 seconds. Do not use those. That will greatly limit the odds of this set proccing. Okay. 
just take my word for it use these potions it's going to reduce your enemies uh, resistances it's going to give you minor sorcery and then if you somehow are like the Einstein of poisons and you figure out how to get some other third effect I don't know it gives you a movability cool um, but that's that's not how this works so scavenging mall look we don't have poison damage I was just gonna show you guys it should proc right about now 90% chance oh look there we go I'm not using any poisons and then if you take a look a little bit closer look at these poisons none of this does poison damage okay so and again i could break this down a lot further a lot further but i'm not going to if you all want to know hit me up in the discord if you really really want to know i'm gonna make you guys sign a fucking nda not even kidding do not show zos this whatsoever because they will just completely abuse it and reverse engineer it's not gonna be fun man um it's not gonna be fun i'm gonna show you guys a basic combo on the sork it it is uh, again go check out my stamp sork video it's uh it's it's pretty tight you can run this on literally any class i'm um, like uh, the mag sword, for example, if you want to use crushing shock, so you do have to proc the poisons. What holds this setback is the ability to proc your poisons. Now, your poisons have a 20% chance to proc on uh, light and heavy attacks, and also weapon abilities. So you want to be using a weapon ability that's why I have multiple instances, you know, such as rending slashes. Um, you could use rapid strikes if you really wanted to to proc it consistently. You can use crushing shock, anything that's going to give you a lot of instances of damage on your weapon skill line. So just kind of like a basic combo that you're going to lay up. And then you're a streak and boom it's gonna proc so um the downsides of savage Molly is that it can be dodged uh, you can dodge roll very easily but the sorcerer again has streak undodgeable unblockable if you time it right it is guaranteed that damage every single time i want to toss this on a corrosive dk so not only is it going to have a 21k tooltip on the corrosive dk but it's also going to ignore your resistances i guarantee i can hit people in the dueling ring running rally and cry with 11 12k procs consistently so that's going to be the next build i work on now i'm trying to think of what other things i need to kind of mention in this i'm not going to break these down just run these poisons this is how it's going to work okay for you it is very very consistent um, i will go a little bit further and say that having a higher crit critical chance is really going to help you and as a baseline for the i'm just pulling numbers out of my ass it's actually like 89 point whatever percent chance to proc scavenging mile as a baseline if you have 37.7 percent crit you have approximately 89 percent chance to proc scavenging mile once your poisons proc on your target so um this is kind of all i really wanted to cover in this video now i will be streaming this live so if you want to see this build live here today rest of the week you know whatever look at proct again right so with no poison damage it's it, it, it it's actually nutty very, very very consistent so if you want to see this live i will be going live today obviously you need to hit the bell notification icon otherwise youtube has a bad habit of not putting my content I, it just doesn't doesn't show my content to people who hit the bell i i don't really understand also go follow me on twitch i'm trying to get to a thousand followers over there just so i can apply to the eso stream team you know we'll see you know so i almost did it i almost didn't have to do a post edit but guys i forgot my patrons and my youtube supporters guys how could i forget about you i was just so livid about the subject at the hand i, I completely forgot to mention you guys but uh here you go here's your clout thanks for supporting the channel and uh yeah i'm out guys peace